Welcome to my lecture online. Now for something very different. If you notice, there's some negative exponents in the numerator, and so how do you factor that out? And the best thing to do is to get rid of the negative exponents by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the correct factor to do so. In this case, since we have an x to the minus 2 as the largest negative exponent, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x to the positive 2 exponents. In other words, the numerator times x to the second power, and of course, we need to do exactly the same to the denominator, otherwise the problem is no longer the same. As long as we do that, we're okay. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to multiply the numerator by x times x plus uh, to the second power, and we're going to do the same with the denominator, multiply times x to the second power. If we do that, we get the following x to the negative 2 times x to the positive 2. When we add exponents, we get x to the 0, which means x disappears. We simply get a 3. And here we get minus 2 times x to the minus 1 times x to the second power is x to the first power. Divided by, in the denominator, we get x times x squared is x cubed. Minus 2x, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. So we've been able to eliminate all the positive exponents. Now what we should do is factor out what's common in the denominator. There's nothing to be factored in the numerator, but we can factor x cubed out of the denominator. So this is equal to 3 minus 2x divided by x cubed times, and we're left with 3 minus 2x. And then we see that 3 minus 2x is common in both the numerator and the denominator, so that cancels out. And so therefore we're left with 1 over x cubed as the final simplified form. And that is how that's done.